You've picked your dream destination, London, Paris, maybe Rome, but first you have to get there. So which seat on the plane are you going to choose? In this video, I'm going to give you my top nine tips for choosing the best seat on the plane for you. Hey, I'm Jeff Katerba. I'm an author, speaker, and creative problem solver. And on this channel, we talk about overcoming your obstacles so you can follow your dreams. For more videos that help you solve problems, be sure to check out my channel and subscribe. So you've booked your flight or you're about to, but you're just not sure where to sit on the plane. Do you want sleep, extra room, don't want to sit next to a crying baby, or maybe you're a parent flying with kids. Your vacation doesn't start when you land, it starts the minute you sit on the plane. And choosing the right seat on the plane for you can get you into vacation mode even sooner. When you feel good during your flight, you're going to feel more rested and relaxed when you land at your destination. I was once stuck in the middle seat on a 10 hour flight between two guys who'd been drinking heavily and they both passed out and were leaning against me. To make matters worse, the person in front of me was leaning their seat back. So during mealtime, I'm eating like a T-Rex. When I had to get up to stretch my legs or use the restroom, I had to nudge them awake. How I wished I'd chosen a different seat. So here are my top nine tips for helping you choose the right seat. If what matters to you is have the overall quietest seat, then sit toward the front of the plane and avoid the back. A window seat is going to be quieter than an aisle seat, you know, because of the drink cart and all the distractions in the aisle. Avoid sitting next to the restrooms or the galley. The galley is that area generally toward the back where they prepare the food. For the smoothest ride and to minimize turbulence, sit over the wing. Most plane engines are mounted under the wing and that allows for a better center of gravity. If you want to catch some Z's, if you're a side sleeper, choose a seat next to the window. That allows you to lean against it and snooze away. Mm. Otherwise, the bulkhead is ideal. The bulkhead is that dividing wall between cabins and generally there's more leg room. Keep in mind, on many larger planes, the bulkhead is also where the restrooms are, so there might be more distractions. Traveling with kids, the bulkhead is perfect for you. Plus, on many larger planes, the bulkhead will be next to the restrooms. Let's say you want to avoid sitting next to a crying baby. The exit row is perfect for you because children aren't allowed in the exit row. If what matters to you is more legroom, again, it's the bulkhead or an exit row. No, you can't recline in your seat, but you can stretch out more. And most airlines offer an upgrade option to a seat with more legroom. Depending on your budget, it might be worth it. If you want some extra room and the ability to get up often, maybe you have to use the restroom frequently or you just like to stretch your legs, which is always a good thing, definitely choose an aisle seat. And on some planes in the aisle seat under the armrest, there's a secret little button. If you press it, it'll lift the armrest, which gives you more elbow room and the ability to get in and out of your seat more easily. Just be aware of the drink cart. When an empty seat next to you, chances are gonna be better toward the back of the plane because you know, most people wanna sit up front. And on wide body aircraft with two aisles, generally the center section is gonna be a better option for you. Don't want someone kicking the back of your seat, choose a seat at the back of the cabin. No, you can't lean back, but then again, you won't have anybody kicking you. I will say I've rarely had anybody ever kick the back of my seat. Keep in mind some airlines like Southwest, you can't choose your seat in advance. Rather, it's first come, first serve, depending on your boarding group. And the more often you travel with them, the sooner you'll have a chance to board. When available, you can often upgrade your boarding group. Quick note to those sitting on the aisle or next to the window, the person in the middle seat, they get the use of the armrests. It's basic flying etiquette. They should put little signs in the back of each seat. The person in the middle, they get the armrests. I'm here for you, middle seat person. When you fly and choose the right seat for you, you'll enjoy your flight more. And when you enjoy your flight more, you'll feel more rested and relaxed upon landing, which means you'll start enjoying that destination right away. I hope these tips on where to sit on a plane were helpful for you. Which seat are you going to choose on your next trip? Let me know in the comments. For more videos that help you solve problems, be sure to check out my channel and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Traveling can be the best way to experience other cultures and to enrich your life. You were born to travel and to explore, so go see the world. If I can be of any help when planning your trip, be sure to let me know.